What is going on guys? Pro player Apathy here back with another tips and tricks video. Now I did make a video not too long ago sort of talking about this very briefly about sound cues and kind of how you can be very loud on the map even though you have ninja. Yes ninja is basically a death silence but no you aren't completely silent on the map. There's certain things you do that does make sound. So today we're going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to be super silent and a secret secret ninja on the map and we're going to go to some gameplay and show you why it's so important. All right, guys, so even though Ninja basically makes you silent, if you didn't know, if you actually sprint when Ninja nearby people, they will hear you. Crouching or aiming in or aiming in and crouching will negate that sound and make it extremely low, almost impossible to hear unless they are playing by themselves. <laughs> so in Search and Destroy, this is obviously very important. Be careful when sprinting around because if you are, you might get caught. If you think there's an enemy nearby, there's no action really going on and there's no sounds to negate it. Make sure if you think there's going to be an enemy, like let's say right there, you can maybe crouch and get ready to engage very silently. Now for the next tip, and this is really extremely important to understand. When you slide in this game, you make a sound, even with dead silence. So for example, or ninja, my bad. So for example, I'm sprinting here. I am very silent, right? You barely hear my footsteps at all. I do have my volume pretty high. As soon as I slide, you hear the little shh. And this can be honestly very loud, especially on this surface here. It can be very loud. So you got to be careful when you're maneuvering around the map that you don't slide everywhere, especially if you think people are nearby. And I'm going to be showing you guys that in the gameplay. When you think there's people nearby, unless you're trying to engage in a slide cancel, you're ready. You're trying to challenge like that. Try to just sprint around and get ready to engage off sprint. Now, for another big thing to know when it comes to trying to be silent around the map, when you mantle things, it makes a very loud sound. Now, you can't really hear it from my perspective, but that little doomp you heard right there, that's basically what it sounds like on their end, but very loud. So they will hear that. They hear mantling loud, very loud. You can test it yourself whenever you have the tents. Um, it's extremely loud. So you got to be very careful when you're trying to be sneaky and you're mantling because it will give away your location. You're like, dude, I had ninja. How do you know I was there? Well, you probably mantle something. And another tip to go hand in hand with that is try not to mantle. Well, try to mantle less things. So for example, right here, uh, this is all mantleable, all these objects here. But instead of me doing this here, he already heard me right there. And then I can mantle again now he, he he's just gonna pray me and kill me instead there's certain spots on the map where you can jump on something without having to mantle first so for example i can jump on these barrels now he still doesn't know i'm here i get to mantle he's gonna hear it but now i actually have a fighting chance and i can probably kill him and obviously what goes with hand to hand with that is um try to mantle stuff that are higher so you don't have to mantle multiple things so for example uh, this is like another example on only certain areas of the map but instead of me mantling right here the mantle here i mean this guy already knows i'm here he's sitting here in a corner like what a big smile on his face oh free skill in the world you can just simply mantle here and then mantle here it's a lot faster and i actually you know maybe have a chance unless he's premium me up right that okay and for the last tip when it comes to sound cues so you know your stuff when you actually land, especially from a high area on the map, it makes a loud noise and people will hear that and can pick that up. So, for example, if I were to fall down here, you hear that boop. Even with a small one like this, it's a lot lower, but they can still hear that. There's a lot of places on the map that you got to be really careful. I think it also matters on wherever you're landing, depending on the material. So if I'm landing in snow, you know, maybe it won't sound as loud. But if I land on anything hard, which every map has pretty much, you know, concrete, you know, every part of the map is pretty hard. This is like one of the, ex the maps that aren't, you know, extremely hard. But, you know, you just land here loud and they will pick that up. So you have to be really careful. OK, now that I gave you guys all these tips, I'm going to go into hard point and show you guys pretty much how to maneuver around the map, how to be more silent and how to like you want to avoid certain things. All right, guys, so we got some Miami. Now, if you do know, Miami is a very crazy map. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Very sneaky, very dark. So this is actually a pretty good map to show you some of these things and how to play more silent and be sneakier. So as you notice, I just fully sprinted. I never slipped down once because if they would have heard me canceling my slide, and they would have probably killed me. Obviously, I try to slide there to evade. So right here, I'm near, I'm near enemy. So I'm not going to slide, but I'm probably dead because this guy is on my butt. My teammate's going to help me. I'm just sprinting. I'm not sliding. I know there's people around me. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit cautious not to give away my position. This guy knows I'm here. This guy behind me as well. He's going to get turned on. I do it for you. I do it for all of you guys. SBMN says minus, but it's all good. We're going to kill that guy as well. Actually, a guy in smoke. He's going to stick me. Now I'm going to be here get some hill time. I could have beamed this guy. I actually have an 8. Ooh, let me found my side. 
There's a guy back here. I'm going to go for this guy. So you got to be careful when it comes to sliding. Now, once you're in enemy's territory, sort of how I am, that they heard that. But I had a, I had a mantle up. Got up. So now I'm here. You want to hop in? You saw how I hopped in? I didn't mantle in. I hopped in. That is the goal. That is something you always want to try to do. Hop in. I mantled in again. Back in. Takes a little practice getting that movement down. Now I'm going to sprint. I'm not sliding around. I'm not sliding out. I'm sprinting. See, I'm sprinting. Off sprint is actually really good What's in this game. It's not, it's, not as, as, it's not as bad as it is in previous games where slight gets is actually super, super broken. You can sprint around this game and you still can have a really good sprint all time. Having no stock is important for a sprint all time or a rate of stock. It gives you 30% um, sprint all time, which is huge. So obviously that's a very important attachment. Beam him with the center for you. Beam this guy close. Guy in the middle. I'm not going to be able to kill him in time. We're off spawn again. I can slide around. Now, obviously, sometimes you're forced to slide, and you can engage with a slide. But it doesn't mean you always have to slide, okay? Don't think this is MW. If you've been following me, if you've been watching my tips, you understand that sliding around is good, but it's not the most broken thing in the world. Oh, so close to the three piece. Pop some armor plates here again. I can just slide around. I can slide. I can let slide. I'm not really worried about people hearing my my footsteps. You know, slide off this. Slide again. Okay. Once I relieve this room, now there's, there's a huge chance to be people near me. So I'm gonna start walking and sprinting. That's pretty solid play right there. I'm gonna come back in and reload. Hop out of here. Easier to cop out. Better position. Off the field mic. And by the way, field mic tip number 37. I know a lot of you guys know field mic. Ninja negates field mic, right? It, oh, lordy. Oh, good save with that. Ninja does block field mics, but the problem is field mic still picks up noise, sound cues, what I've been talking about. So if you slide next to a field mic, if you if you mantle into, into something with a field mic there, you know, anything that makes noise, like I've said, the field mic will pick up and give away your location. Damn, that guy's cracked. So be, be extremely careful when it comes to field mic. Now, again, where you kind of got a back spawn, this is really important. Whenever you get a spawn like this, like, oh, great. Whenever you get a spawn where you're kind of behind them. Oh my God, dude. I almost killed myself. You gotta be very careful to not sprint. You don't want to sprint because you're, what? What? I want to hear you say in the comments below. You're gonna give away your position. So right here, we're sort of in enemy's territory. I'm sprinting around, anticipating gunfights. I'm not, this guy has no idea I'm here. And, to, and for a reason why they don't know I'm here too, is that I'm rocking Ninja and Ghost. So unless, unless I, I give them a reason, like basically a sound cue for them to know I'm here. He no idea he knows I'm here. Gonna pop this field mic. There's multiple people here. So this guy is gonna chow me. They're all, they're all trying to kill me. I heard the slide. You heard that? You heard the slide? Gave me the kill. If I didn't hear that slide, he, he was he was rocking ghosts. I probably would have died. Hear his footsteps because he's not rocking ninja. New mistake. And those more here. As you can see, I'm just going to spree. I hear this guy slide and run into me. Just running ghost. So what happens? I spawn behind them, right? I spawn there. I spawn behind them. So I'm going to sprint in here. I'm going to try to find them before I go into the hard point. I'm being silent. I'm trying to be as silent as possible. I'm probably dead. Nope. He's not going to be able to kill me in time. I'm gonna slide away now sliding is okay sometimes when you're trying to evade don't be afraid to slide what i'm trying to let you know is you want to be cautious of your slides but don't be afraid to slide away don't be afraid to like slide and get into the engagement it's better for them to know you're there than it is to die or lose the gunfight because you're you're too cautious for your slide but you do just need to you need to read read the map a little bit you need to understand you know the situation you need to have low map awareness and just understand, hey, is it? Think to yourself, is it a good time to slide? Like, how did this guy just beat me? Oh, he's waiting. He's waiting for me. I killed him. So basically, when you're playing the map, unless you absolutely have to, you want to avoid mantles, which you do have to mantle sometimes. It is what it is. Um, you want to avoid sliding, unless when you have to, or you think it's the best time to slide. Um, I'm literally running no suppressor, right? I'm running ninja and ghost. I'm literally just running ninja and ghost no suppressor but you can see like i'm still very sneaky around the map i do not have a suppressor i'm shooting my gun um and i'm still able to like maneuver around the map and be pretty sneaky and you know it's for the reason it's because of my movement like this guy has no idea i'm here 
no idea. Tell you, if I would have slid maybe a second before that, he would have. Everyone uses headset. Everyone he listens for the sound of dude. Like I can confidently say, like any good player or any player does a try hard or a sweat listens for all these things and that's the reason why they you know they find you they kill you you're like you're like wait how do you know i was there well he probably heard you i saw a jump from him but it's gonna stand no chance to my 74u this 74u class is dirty um 74u easily top tier sub right now is one of the best in the game i think it's the best sub but the mp5 does compete a little bit you know I think it's like a 50-50, maybe 55 with the AK-74U, 45 MP5. Um, but I will probably do very soon a class setup with the 74U in the class setup video. So you don't want to miss that. Keep a lookout for that video. Make sure to like and subscribe. You don't want to miss that video, guys. Bang. Bang. Where's the third guy? So this is about to be a hundred point club here. Um, hopefully you guys picked up what I said and really took it serious. These are really important things. You know, sound cues to you, maybe you look overlooking, like me mentally, this can be heard. Now they're probably not gonna hear it. Oh, he actually probably heard that because he was looking straight at me or he was just framing it. But it's very important to understand a lot of these things because it makes the difference. Absolute dominates, guys. 62 is 12. We and crushed a lot of it, if you were watching, I was being silent. I was maneuvering around the map, not really sliding much, pretty when I had to, and taking advantage of my ninja. Look at that. G g g g guys, thank you for watching another one of my videos. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for some more tip tricks and amazing gameplay. The grind has just begun. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.